Just out doing a little panning today. Nothing really special, so I haven't taken much video. I've been working down in that crack right there. I don't know if you can see it. I did okay. I'm um, just kind of, you know, getting my shovel in there and pr uh, pulling material out. Um, and then it kind of slowed, slowed down. So I've sampled here, there, and everywhere and haven't hit anything too much and decided to come to this crack right here. I don't know if you can see that. And I had kind of cleared out the top part already and got a few little specks out of it. Nothing major. But um, when everything cleared off, I decided to get down in that crack. So I'm kind of anxious to see what we get out of there. And um, to clean that one out, I used uh, this. I kind of walled it out a little bit with the trowel and the, the screwdriver. And then this is one of the attachments on my sucker tube right there. It's a, I think it's a half inch. And I think I showed how to make that. But anyway, I didn't get much material out. That's all I got, so um, I'm going to pan it real quick and uh, see what we come up with. There's the results of that pan. Probably can't even see it, but there's a couple of little specks in there. Um, you know, just out of that one little crack. I don't know if it's worth keep getting down in there. That's kind of what I got out of it the first time. Um, about that much, uh, you know... It's about all I can do. I've got about all I can out of there. So I'm thinking about moving down to a different spot and uh, seeing what I come up with there. All right, that's the crack I'm working now. And I've sampled up and down the creek in several different places and uh, I'm not really finding much else. Um, not much more than what I got out of that one crack there. So I figured I might as well just uh, stay in... Uh, you know go over to the next little crack and try to work it um, not much to show for it but it's a little bit of a speck of gold there so if nothing else um, probably stay here about 20 more minutes and then head home Okay, so this is where I've been digging all day long. Um, I haven't gotten rich by any means, but I've had a lot of fun and just going through these cracks and everything. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some of this dirt straight out of the crack that I've been working in um, all day long. And I'm going to classify it to a half inch. I'm going to pan the top layer off of it so that it's not just a bunch of uh, you know trash trash in it and bag it up and I'm wanting to do a drawing uh, I'll put the details at the end of the video but I just want to thank all the viewers uh, for all the support uh, that you know that you've given me along the way in my journey of learning to prospect and I have a long ways to go but this is one way I feel like I can give back now I don't want you to be upset if you don't get a lot of gold because honestly I haven't found a lot today but there's always that possibility because I'm not even going to check through it. I'm just going to take it from, from there, pan a little bit off of it, and put it straight in the bucket and take it home and, and then uh, bag it up. And gold pan pretty far down now and what I do is just keep a little bit of water in the pan and uh, tilt the pan on the side and then I just tap it and you can see all my gold kind of walking away from the black sand it's not gonna be perfect like that 
but uh, you can use some kind of I use this little thing a lot um, it's like a little pipette or something and uh, you can just suck up your gold if it'll looks like a lot of that won't even go in there but uh, just suck up your gold and just put it in a separate container and you can do that several times just empty the container back out okay so I saw where someone on the forums posted uh, asking a question how do you get clean gold and I know there's a bunch of different methods but this is the method that I like the best without using all of my uh, different contraptions and stuff it's actually the easiest so what you do is I uh, fill up my uh, pan here. And this is going to be the safety pan that you pan into. So I fill up this pan uh, pretty full with water. After it's filled up, then I put a couple drops of jet dry to break the surface tension. Uh, because when you get your gold pan down really far, it could have a tendency to float up. So then I take my concentrates, which I usually keep in something like this or my snuffer bottle, and I empty them out. You can classify uh, if you want, that might make it easier. But then I empty them out into my gold pan and I pan, I pan them down just like you saw in the previous video clip. Once I get it panned down pretty far, then I just tap the edge and the gold will work its way around the edge here. Then I take a pipette, and this is the key right here, this little thing works great. So I take the pipette and I just snuffer out the clean gold. There might be a speck or two of black sand with it, so I just snuffer out the clean gold, then I have another pan ready to go. So as I get it out of this one, I'm putting it into this pan, okay? Once I go through it several times, make sure there's no more gold, then what I can do is check this pan to see if I panned out any of my gold. Then I can go back to the clean gold, and uh, then you can just get the few, the few specks of black sand that are still in there out. Okay, sometimes it's easier just to snuffer out the black sand first. Once I get it down to the clean gold, then I'm going to take me a glass vial. Remember, glass vial here. So you're going to take the cap off, you're going to take your clean gold, and you're going to put it in here. Um, if you want to, you can uh, run some uh, cleaner water in here. But then, um, so the gold's at the bottom, take the pipette, and I snuffer off as much water as possible. Okay, so there will be just a few uh, millimeters of water in there with the gold. Then I go over to my stove and make sure your gold is clean um, in the sense that there's no mercury on it. You do not want mercury on your gold if you're doing this, okay? So then uh, I've got the clean gold and I take a small skillet. This is just uh, not one that I use uh, anyway, but I put it on the stove and I put it on like a medium uh, medium heat and put my glass vial, only the glass vial, make sure the lid's off of it, put that on the stove on medium heat and then I'll check till I see some steam rising on it. Well let the steam rise until you don't see any more. Usually it takes uh, maybe about five minutes um, and then when there's no more steam I cut off the uh, heat and just leave it sitting on the stove until it cools down. Then what you want to do, make sure your lid's dry. You can put your cap on it. Then get you a nice picture. So get you a dark background or something. Take you a picture of that gold. Once that's done, I like to add my gold to my other total gold. And uh, how I've found that I transfer them is if you just hold them end to end with the caps off and you can just flip it upside down and the gold will go from one vial straight into the other, no problem. Um, I've tried putting it on pieces of paper, heating the gold in the skillet, and that's the fastest way that I've come up with is what I just showed you. So, um, you know, you might have a better way, but that works pretty good for me, and I hope that tip helps you. Now what everybody's been waiting for. I've had a lot of faithful viewers, even though my videos are really sporadic. Uh, just get to prospect uh, occasionally. I've had a lot of fun growing as a prospector and sharing some tips and, and learning with all my viewers along the way. So I hope I've helped uh, some of you out and the rest of you, I hope that I've entertained you. And as a way to give back, uh, since there's hardly a day that goes by that I'm not getting another uh, subscriber, so what I want to do is I'm going to do a drawing. And I've taken some material straight from the creek and I've worked it down to about two cups of material 
And what I'm going to do is uh, a drawing, like I said. So how you enter is hopefully you'll subscribe, you'll like my video. But how to get entered in is you leave a comment below, hopefully a positive comment uh, in the bottom, uh, in the bottom. So leave a comment. I'm going to put everybody's name into, uh, probably put it in a, a gold pan. And then I'm going to shoot a video and I'm going to draw, draw two names out. So it's going to be two winners. Uh, it doesn't matter what country you're in. Uh, you know, I'm in the U.S., but international viewers, you're welcome to enter as well. It may take a while to get the material to you, but uh, you're welcome to enter. And everyone has an equal chance. So good luck, and uh, we'll see you in a couple days. Remember, final details will be at the end of the video. Okay, so this drawing will be open for about five days. So thanks for watching, and again, good luck.